Ini saya sudah beli tiketnya, harganya 75 peso. Sekarang waktunya kita mau ekspor, kita lihat-lihat dulu di dalam ya. Bangunan di sebelah kiri saya ini dulunya adalah benteng pertahanan yang dibangun oleh Spanyol, namun sempat mengalami kehancuran akibat dari gempa bumi tahun 1645. Kemudian datanglah tentara Amerika dan menjadikan bangunan ini sebagai gudang senjata. Setelah itu, masuk lagi tentara Jepang dan gedung ini beralih fungsi sebagai barak militer. Sekarang tempatnya, seperti yang kita lihat, sudah dijadikan sebagai kafe yang menjual kuliner dan juga souvenir khas Filipina dan di bagian ujung sana sudah berfungsi sebagai tempat informasi turis kita jalan terus ya Kalau bangunan yang itu adalah sisa reruntuhan barak militer Amerika. Presiden ke-6 Filipina sempat dipenjarakan di bangunan ini karena keterlibatannya dalam gerakan anti-Jepang. Pada saat itu beliau statusnya belum menjadi Presiden Filipina. Kalau dilihat cantik ya penjaranya. Ya kita lanjut. Sekarang kita sudah berada tepat di depan pintu gerbang utama Fort Santiago. Kalau kita lihat di atas pintu gerbang utama ini ada ukiran gambar singa dan kastil itu menunjukkan kekuasaan Spanyol pada masa pendudukannya di Filipina. Di depan pintu gerbang ini ada sungai Pasik. Kita bisa lihat di belakang saya. Kita mau masuk dulu ya, kita mau lihat ada apa saja di dalam benteng ini.
Yes, Jose Rizal is our national hero because he fought for the Filipinos mm -hmm. during the Spanish time where Filipinos, where the Spaniards are really... They're under the regime of regime. the Spaniards. Yes, Spanish and time. we are being treated uh, not that good. So Jose Rizal wrote two books. Yeah. El Pilibusterismo and, and the Nol Mitang 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 Mitang. And that's exactly to awaken the minds of the Filipinos to fight the Spaniards. Yes. And of course, the Spaniards was very mad at him, and that's why he was taken into prison. And in here, it was, it was last it was in, in 3 November to the morning of 29 December. It was on the 29th of December when he was sentenced to death by firing, firing, firing squad. The, yes, firing squad. At Luneta. Yeah. Until now, the two books are very well known mm -hmm. and in fact, these are being studied in college and to show to how? the Filipinos how the Spaniards did injustice to the Filipinos. So they are awakened, their minds are awakened mm -hmm. and that, caught, that started the rebellion where it started the, the fighting against the Spaniards. Uh, Jose Rizal did that fight. It was yeah. only through his two books, books that were revealed everything. Yeah. That's the reason why he is our national hero. Can you explain what is this place? This is the sleep of Rizal when he was a child who was a child of a rebellion. Siya ay nakusahan na nang nagsusulat at ipinagtatanggol ang mga kapwa niyang Pilipino sa, sa pamamaraan ng pagsusulat ng Noli Metangri at El Busterismo. Di belakang saya ada bangunan warna putih, di situ adalah tempat penjara Jose Rizal, seorang pahlawan nasional Filipina. Nah, di sini kita akan menaiki anak tangga, dibuat monumen untuk memperingati pengorbanan dan keberanian seorang Jose Rizal dalam memperjuangkan kebebasan Filipina. Ini kita lihat ada patungnya, pat dari sini Jose Rizal, melangkah keluar meninggalkan Fort Santiago menuju ke tempat eksekusi. Patung ini merupakan gambaran terakhir penampilan Jose Rizal. Dia berpakaian rapi, formal, 
dan wajahnya tidak menunjukkan ekspresi takut sama sekali padahal dari sini dia akan melangkah menuju ke tempat eksekusi yang sekarang dikenal sebagai Rizal Park. Can you tell us why do you want to visit Fort Santiago? Um, okay, as a Filipino, um, we want to know our culture and we want to um, oh, explore. Yes. And our history and all about the, the dungeons and why? everything here. Yes. Like, just like here, Rizal. Rizal is famous Filipino hero. 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 Okay. And, he, and they toss their, their coin. Ah. Just something they believe about. Because they his face is on coin. Ah, I see. That's why you draw the coin? You know, it's like a tra tradition Tradi that people make. Not really tradition, but mostly people do it. Okay. Filipino. Rizal is a great hero. Rizal help, helps many, peop many people to know what real Spaniards do to the yes. other Filipino or they're not teaching him them well. That, that's why the old Filipinos before are literally not knowing what they colonize us. Okay. Colonized. No, they are not aware. And Rizal wrote novel, no, novel and the alphabet the is to know. That's why many Filipino go to a class. A class is a way we English word of war. Yes. Of, okay. They make a war to prevent Spanish and other um, other countries, countries to colonize us. Ah. Selesai sudah perjalanan kita di Fort Santiago, kita sudah sama-sama belajar sejarah. Saatnya kita mau mencari yang segar-segar khas Filipina. Yeah. Do you have halo halo? Halo halo. Yeah. One. It's one halo. One halo halo. Yes. Hello, hello. One hello, hello, please. <laughs> One hello, hello, please. How much? One twenty. One twenty, okay. Wait, how much? Sang kuna ba? One hello. That's one. This one. Eh? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I actually have coin. Ta da! Okay, come. <laughs> I will help you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Ini Thank cara you. paling gampang kalau bingung bayar koin, langsung taruh di tangan nanti mereka sendiri yang ambil. Oke. Okay. Oke. Okay. So I give you 450. Oh 400. This is 70 pesos. Oke. Okay. Yay, berkurang nah, koinnya kita. 450. 400. Thank you. Halo so halo special from Philippines. Yes. Oh, yeah. Thank you. Yes. Saya sudah pesan satu halo-halo khas Filipina. Kita coba rasanya gimana ya? Halo-halo. Thank you. Ini dia minuman segar khas Filipina. Halo-halo. Namanya halo-halo. Hai hai. Di sini ada roti. Eh, hey. ada apa nih? Kolang kaling ya? Nih, agar-agar, ada agar-agar, jelly, ada es krim, ini ada es krim, ini biji-biji, apa nih? Thank you. <laughs> Oke okay lah, kita minum dulu ya. Warnanya ungu. Oh. Hmm. 
Betulnya harus diaduk bawahnya biar biar kerasa manisnya. Kalau enggak, kalau masih di atas itu dia hambar. Ini ya kita aduk-aduk dulu, soalnya di bawah itu banyak lapisannya ternyata. Setelah kita aduk-aduk, baru kelihatan yang paling bawah itu ada jagung, ada ubi ungu, oh, ada kelapanya. Nah ini warna ungu karena pakai ubi ungu. Halo, halo. Ternyata di Filipina halo-halo itu artinya campur-campur. Jadi lebih kayak ke es campur ya, es campur khas Filipina. Berasa kelapanya, berasa jagungnya. Ini cukup unik juga sih rasanya. Rasanya unik dan menyegarkan. Minuman wajib untuk kamu coba saat berada di Manila, Filipina. Banana fried? Sorry? Banana? No. Oh no? Oh, nggak ada. What snacks now? Snacks, yes. Yeah. Fries. Churros now. Oh no, no churros. No churros. Uh, shiomai. Ada shiomai, Ri. Japanese, yeah. shiomai aja. Shiomai, beef shiomai. Uh, pork shiomai. Pork shiomai. Yes. Pork shiomai one. Yeah, one. Uh, siapa bola bola? Iya, yeah. siapa bola bola? Apa? Asado. Which one is asado? Oh, siapa asado? Oke, okay. siapa as? One asado, one shomai. Yes, yeah. No rice. No rice. One asado, one shomai. And the drink? Cafe latte you have? Yes. Cafe latte. Ah, kau hot apa? Hot. Hot, kafe latte hot one. Pesan minumnya kafe latte panas satu. Uh, terus minumnya apa ya? Milk tea. Which one you recommend? Okinawa. Okinawa, it's good. Uh, I try Okinawa one. What size for? We have 80 and 90. 80. Kafe latte Okinawa. Oke. Okay. Jadi siapa? Jadi tadi kita. Iya. Yeah. Jadi tadi kita pesan makannya siapau asado sama siomay, siomay versi Filipin kita lihat dulu di sini ya. Oke. Okay. For your siomay, you want steam or fried? Steam. 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 Oh, which, which one is better? Steam or oh, steam? Oke. Okay. With, With chili. chili, yes. Pay here or there? Bayaran. Minta uang seperti ini. Mumpung di luar lagi hujan deras, jadi kita masuk dulu ke sini sekalian nyobain jajanan khas Filipina. Tadi ini saya pesan sate pisang. Ada tiga pisis ini harganya 50 peso. Saya mau cicipin dulu. Hmm. Oh, Rasanya enak, ini kayak pisang direbus, terus ditaburin gula merah kayak gembong gitu, gemblong ya kalau di Indonesia. Enak. Kayaknya saya mau cobain kulinernya lagi, saya mau nanti mau pesan abis ini, saya mau pesan lagi menu yang lain sekalian, pesan minuman tadi belum pesan soalnya. Hmm, nah. 50 peso. Bumbunya kayak gemblong gitu luarnya, manis, enak lah. Worth it untuk dicoba kalau lagi ke sini ke Manila. Satu pisang. Do you believe we can do anything? Do what you gonna see? 
seen a lot of change, been through a lot of pain. Some things are not the same as they were a year ago. But all will be okay. I move on each and every day. The past is where it stays. Way back a year ago. I've changed for the better this time. I thought I would never be fine. I strive just to say I'm alright. And for the first time in a long time, I'm alright. I've seen a lot of change, been through a lot of pain. Some things are not the same as they were a year ago. But all will be okay. I move on each and every day. The past is where it stays. Way back a year ago. Things are not the same as they were a year ago.